The Gullis current is one of the strongest currents in the world. It's a western boundary current like the Gulf Stream. It has 100 million meters cubed per second of water rushing by us. In the 25 years since I've been a female in oceanography, things have improved immensely for women in the field. And I think a lot of that is because those of us women here recognize the unique challenges that women face, such as cultural bias, such as work-life balance. And we've really worked to build the networks, the education and mentoring networks for women. And what I would say to young women who want to do science as a career is that it's an incredibly rewarding experience. It is exhilarating and also humbling. Hi, I'm Marjolaine Krug. I'm a physical oceanographer. I study the Agalas current, one of the strongest currents in the world, using satellites and ocean gliders. When I was a student, being on this side of the harbour, the female scientists were made to feel quite unwelcome. But things have changed. There's so many women leading science nowadays. I think it's a good thing to for more balanced work environment. To the young female scientists out there, I'd like to say follow your inspiration and be the change you want to see. Hello, I'm Alka Lowe, the Manager of Marine and Regional Weather Services here at MedService New Zealand. My career to date has expanded over 10 years of combined operational forecasting and management and has seen me do two expeditions out to sea on a research vessel. It has been wonderful to see an increase in women study meteorology over the past five years. I have found that this increase has brought about a diverse way of thinking and emotional intelligence to the workplace. I have also found that in order to succeed, one needs to look for the bigger picture, surround yourself with a good network of fellow female scientists, and last but not least, to be one's own champion. I'm Sabrina Schweich, I'm a physical oceanographer, I come to the ocean because of my passion of the ocean as a sailor and also the physics, so I married the two. And very quickly, when I started to be a physical oceanographer, I discovered that the ocean has really a huge importance in climate, so I started to try to understand the ocean role in climate. At the time I started, there were not many women in physical oceanography, but in the last 20 years I, I saw really a uh, positive trends. And now not uh, we are only many physical oceanographer women, but also we found many women as uh, crew members in uh, oceanography. I'm Captain Emma. Throughout my career, which means more than 25 years, I had three opportunities to serve on board as marine weather forecast, giving the support for the naval operations. The most significant was the cruise from Rio de Janeiro to Peninsula Antarctica, when I, and a colon of mine, also a woman, giving the information to the decisions of the commander, especially for Drake Passage, a place where the weather and sea forecast were a real challenge for any meteorologist. It is really my passion to work as marine meteorologist so that with my knowledge and expertise I can contribute as much as I can to my country as Indonesia is a maritime continent. I do believe women's participation in science will make the working environment better for everyone. Never think that science is more suitable for men and be confident that we have enough capability to pursue our dream as world-class scientists.